Hi, it's Rick here, the technical writer at Backup Assist. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a private cloud destination using a Synology NAS device and Backup Assist. I'll explain how to use a Synology NAS and Backup Assist to set up a private cloud solution in two parts. First, I'll enable WebDAV and create a backup destination on the NAS. Then I'll create a cloud backup job that uses that NAS destination. To set up with Dev on your Synology NAS, log into DiskStation, Synology's NAS management console. The console is opened in a browser that points to the device's IP address. Before you start, you should make sure your NAS has access to the internet. For the Synology NAS, you can do this by enabling Quick Connect in the control panel. or running the Easy Internet Setup from the main menu. These steps are documented by Synology and linked at the end of this video. To set up WebDAV, you first need to install it by going to the Package Center. Using the Search field to locate WebDAV, and then in selecting Install. When WebDAV is installed, you can open and enable it. To enable WebDAV over HTTP, just tick the Enable HTTP box and apply the changes. If you want to access the device over a secure HTTPS connection, select Enable HTTPS and Apply. However, you will also need to export a certificate from the NAS to the client device. This is done in the control panel by selecting the security menu and then the certificate tab. That's all you need to do to install and enable WebDAV. Next, we'll set up a shared folder for the backup destination. To do this, go into the control panel and select the shared folder menu. Then select create from the create menu. Give the folder a name and a description. Then select Next through the steps. There is an encryption option that we will skip as Backup Assist encrypts the backup itself. Once the folder has been created, you'll be prompted to give a NAS account access to the folder. This NAS account's credentials will be used by Backup Assist to access the folder. You can create an account just to manage access to your backup destination or you can select OK and use the default NAS admin account, which will be given read-write access to the folder. Now that you've enabled WebDAV and created a destination folder, you just need to get two pieces of information for Backup Assist. First, you will need the name and password of the account that was given access to the folder. Second, you will need the URL that is used to access the folder over the internet. The format for this path is the protocol and the IP address of the NAS, then colon, then the port, then a slash, and the folder name. Make sure the port is the HTTP or HTTPS port opened in WebDAV, not the port that the console uses. Now that WebDAV is enabled and the folder has been set up, let's head over to Backup Assist and create a backup job. To do this, open Backup Assist from the Backup tab homepage, then select Create a new backup job. Then select Cloud Backup. This will open the Cloud Wizard which will guide you through the process. The selection screen is where you select the files and folders to be backed up. Once you have selected the data, Select Next. The Destination screen is where you select the type of cloud storage used. Select WebDAV and then Next. The Schedule screen allows you to choose from two backup schemes. Basic, which provides a simple incremental backup from Monday to Friday, and Grandfather, Father, Son, which includes daily, weekly, monthly, and annual backups for longer backup retention. When deciding, remember 
Having more store points available requires more cloud storage. Select the option that suits your backup strategy and select Next. The Setup Destination screen is where you enter the details for the Synology device that you're using as the backup destination. The first field is used to enter a name for your backup jobs container. A container is like a folder just for this job and it will be created inside the folder we set up on the Synology device for all backup jobs to use. Next we enter the web dev host information. The first field is for the server URL. This is the location that the Synology device will use to present the folder we created to the internet. The next section is for the username and password of the Synology account that the backup job will use. Enter the username and password that you noted down when setting up the Synology device. Next is the encryption password. Backup Assist will encrypt each backup before it is transferred to the private cloud. This is a Backup Assist feature and means your data is secure even if that storage is compromised. Enter a password and confirm it in the fields provided. Record this password in a safe location because it cannot be retrieved if it is lost. You will need to enter this password if you ever restore or recover data from a backup created by this job. When you have filled in the fields, select the Check Destination button. Backup Assist will check that it can access the private cloud destination using the information provided. Once the destination has been confirmed, click Next. Use the notification screen to enter recipients for the backup reports and click Next. Now you can enter a name for your backup job and click Next. Seeding is an optional manual process. To learn more about seeding, see our online guide. This is the last step in creating a Backup Assist Cloud Backup job. All that's left is to select Finish and your job will run at the time set in the schedule. You can use the Run button to start the job manually if required and the Manage screen to edit this job later. To learn more about Backup Assist Cloud Backup and how to use WebDAV with Synology, see the guides linked below.